goodness, it's been far too long since we've done this, isn't it? It has. It has been far too long. Right, welcome back to the Tinker Tales channel. If you've not been here before, hello, I am Vicky, and this is... This is the one that's married to her. Yes, this is Richard, the husband. Um, but welcome back to a new vlog in anticipation of a new series. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's coming very, very soon. So is it a series where we're reintroducing what we've done before because I thought we'd done all that? No, we've done those. Those okay. are done. They're still going up at the moment, but they're done. This no is more. all new. All new. All new. All Disney. All exciting. But we're not going anywhere because we can't. We're not really going anywhere. We're kind of going somewhere, but we're not going anywhere. Today is the 18th of June and it is our online check-in day for our... UK Disney Dream Staycation. No, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> it's the right word, just not in no, the right order. No, it's not the right words. <laughs> it's the magic at sea. Where's the dream coming? January. Yeah, because <laughs> obviously we're not doing the Disney dream till January. This is the magic at sea. Magic at sea, UK staycation. Disney Cruise Line, UK staycations. It's a mouthful. But yeah, we are doing a UK Disney Cruise Line staycation. We are. We're in 30 days. In 30 days. It's very exciting, it's been a isn't busy it? Day. An it early start for you. Early start. I've been up since five o'clock this morning doing our check in. But, like, we didn't do a trip announcement for this, did we? This is no. kind of it. This is like, this is it. 30 days we're going on a cruise, hopefully. So, we're going to rewind to about 80 days out. Yes. When we actually booked. Because yes. we know we've been lucky. Very lucky. It's a lot of luck with it with injections, time off work, short notice booking. Yeah, so any sort of holiday. Yeah, if you if you don't know these cruises, you have to for anyone over the age of eighteen has to be fully vaccinated and that means having both jabs and then a gap of seven days, at least seven days before you board the cruise and you have to have proof of your jabs and all that kind of malarkey. So we are incredibly lucky and we know that a lot of people aren't able to do these vacations. So we don't take that for granted at all. I mean I say we're lucky. I mean the reason I got my jab so early is because I'm extremely clinically vulnerable, so I've been shielding for the best part of 18 months, so. She's not been out, look, look, there's no tan. <laughs> look, compared to me, get off. she's been stuck indoors. Get sometime. off, but um, yeah, so, you know, meh, swings and roundabouts. This is kind of like a reward for being so good and not seeing anyone during the pandemic, really. And also like cost, I know cost has been a yeah. big thing for people. And the only reason we decided that we were gonna do this was because we looked. Well, we ruled it out, didn't we? When the when, yeah. Castaway Club members got to book theirs, we ruled it out. Yeah, it we kind of said, oh no, that looks really, really pricey. I don't think we could do it. We could stretch to that. And then we're like, oh, do you know what? We'll just do like a three night haven holiday in a caravan. So we went to look at doing a three night haven holiday in a caravan. And it was more expensive than the cruise. Considerably. <laughs> yeah. More. For a basic caravan, not even like a luxury caravan, like the bog basic caravan with no entertainments passes. And bear in mind that you then have to pay for all your food because it's self-catering. Yeah. And it was out of season. And it, yeah, it wasn't even in the summer holidays. This was like for June. And it was coming about eight, nine hundred pound. Yeah. So that was... We were like hmm. three nights in Haven, two nights on a Disney cruise. Yeah, we'll go for the Disney yeah. cruise. So yeah, and we got a good price because we were on there. I was on there first thing in the morning to book it. So yeah, so we booked it. It's done. Um, and I just wanted to kind of put this up here because I know that with the Disney cruise vacations has come a lot of stress for a lot of people. Not so much for us. No. No, because... Well, we've been looking at doing cruising for a while. We've had one booked, it's been cancelled, yeah. it's been booked again. And this, so we've been looking at cruising for a yeah, while. So this should how... technically have been our second Disney cruise. Yeah. We should have gone on our first one in September 2020. We then pushed that back, so we should be going in September 2021. Yeah. But we then pushed that back again, and we're now going in January 2021. 2022, sorry. Fingers crossed. So, um, you know, I like to research things. You like to... We, we like to know a lot about yeah. what we're doing. So, we've been researching cruises for like two... Two, two years, and a bit years. years. It's coming up three years now. Specifically Disney cruises. Yeah. So, we are fairly knowledgeable. Obviously, this is all completely new yeah. for a lot of stuff no one knows what's going on because it's in covid and you know there's masks you're gonna have to wear masks there's going to be limited capacities and no buffets and distance character meets and stuff but the procedures were the same the bookings were 75 days out and yeah so yeah so 75 days 
prior to sailing. So long as you are but paid in full, that is when you can book your paid for activities, but you have to be paid up in full. And you've got to be careful if you're booking to a travel agent because they don't always send the money over. <laughs> yeah. So you might, have, and we know people that have booked with big travel agents who have paid all their money, but the travel agent hasn't sent it to Disney. Yeah. So Disney is still saying it's not paid in full. At the sense of five days, you still can't book anything. Yeah. So just be careful with booking with a travel agent via, via booking with Disney. Yeah. At least you know with Disney, it's if you've paid in full, it's paid in full. It's, paid it's in full. instant. As soon as you've paid that last cent, last pound, last penny, it shows up that it's paid in full. So 75 days out is where you book like you're paid for activities. So things like Paolo, which we have done. Yeah, yeah we have booked a brunch at Paolo. And lining. yes, because you can book your kind of like alcohol tasting, so things like whiskey tasting or champagne tasting or tequila and margarita <laughs> tasting, which is what we've got. We're only on there for two days, but we want to make the most yeah. out of our time. And we, we're not 100% sure like how much other activities they will be on. No. So we just thought, well, we're only going to do this once. Yeah. The staycations aren't going to happen again. We thought we might as well do a couple of paid for extras. Yeah, and it's going to give us a chance to do it while there's not much more going on on the boats. Yeah. So that when we do go on our four-day cruise, we can spend more time in just exploring, exploring, the ship. do the port excursions, and yeah, that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, that was that was kind of our thinking around it. But yeah, also things like Bibbity Bobbity Boutique. Spas, if they're open, is at 75 days. Yeah, spa treatments. Uh, no, those didn't come up till a little bit later, but I think in general they are 75 days. I think because we're one of the first cruises, they just hadn't quite worked out what they were going to offer. But yeah, generally 75 days out. Some of the stuff does sell out quite quickly. Yes. Oh, you can also get your photo packages, but they're available to everyone and anyone at any time. You don't have yeah. to worry about those. But yeah, things do sell out. Um, things are quite popular. The Paolo's not pop that popular on our cruise. I think that's just because of the, the style of the cruise. Yeah, so it's, it's two nights, so I think a lot of people are like, "There's not, it's not worth it. But for us, doing a Paolo brunch is so worth it. I'm yeah. so excited for that. But um, yeah, it's worth keeping on keeping an eye on it if there is something particular that you wanted to do. Because it's 75 days. All the alcohol tastings that we, what we wanted to do together were gone. We're gone. Um, because there's only whiskey that was left. There was like whiskey, bourbon, and wine tasting. I think were the only ones available. I don't drink whiskey. Wine, I only really drink white or rosé. And I think on a wine tasting, there'd be a fair few reds right. that neither of us drink. So the only ones we wanted to maybe do were mixology and uh, the tequila one. Yeah. But they were all sold out. The ones that we wanted. But I just kept checking, and then I just happened to go on there one day and saw that the tequila had become available again. So I booked it and then it was sold out. Literally, I've got the last two spaces. So someone had obviously just cancelled it. So it is worth keeping an eye on the app and just like refreshing it, especially for like Bibbity Bobbity Boutique because that went like that. There nice. was there was nothing for Bibbity Bobbity Boutique. It's $45 each for Paolo Brunch and $23 each for our cocktail, uh, well, tequila and margarita tasting, which for like two hours worth of drinks when one cocktail on the ship is about $16. Yeah. I think, nice. yeah, I think that's fine. So yeah, we're looking forward to that, aren't we? So yeah, so we've got a busy day. Yes. On a Saturday. Yes. Brunch is 10 till 12. Yep. A couple of hours off. Yep. For someone to do an aqua dunk. Because she's promised that she would. That's the whole purpose of booking the holiday. I lied. <laughs> and there's been a blog. And if you don't know what the aqua dunk is, Google it. I'm, I'm not doing it. Yes, you are. I'm not doing it. But yeah, anyway, so that's 75 days out. That's what you can book at 75 days. That's what we booked at 75 days. Let's fast forward to this morning, to our 30 day check in. And this was stressful for me just because I've never done it. Like, I'm used to making sure I'm online for things like dining reservations and fast passes at Walt Disney World, but I've never done a check-in for a cruise, so I was a little bit stressed, but because I had done my research, I knew exactly what I needed in order to check in. And what did you need? Here's a list of what you needed. So you need a picture of your, a photo of your ID. So it can be for everyone over the age of 18, you need a photo of the ID, it can be like a passport or a driver's license. We've gone with passports. And you also need to kind of have them to hand so that you can fill in the details from that ID. You need a selfie style photo. <laughs> so it needs to be like a yeah, shoulders. shoulders upwards 
passport style kind of photo. But you can smile. You can smile in it, but it says no glasses, no ears, no hats. And just be warned that obviously people are going to see this photo every time they, like, when you check in and they scan your key to the wild card, people are going to see your photo. So <laughs> try not to look, I mean, mine's horrendous, but what can you do? <laughs> It is what it is. You also need, if you are planning on linking a credit or debit card to your account in order to pay for things like your Paolo meals, your tips, any room service that you might any have had. Merchandise. Well, not room service, because room service is included, but like tips. Anything you buy in the shops, the merch and stuff, you need that credit or debit card handy. Because they are cashless cruises. It is cashless cruises. But they always have been. It's not just a COVID. You can pay in cash, though. So it's not well, really a cashless cruise. Okay. The shops are cashless. <laughs> Yeah, basically you can't go into the shop and go, here's $20 for that jumper. You know, you have to, it gets all loaded onto your onboard account. You can then go to get services and pay in cash if you wish to. As long as it's done by the night before. Yeah, it's got to be done the day before you depart. Anyway, we're, we're, we, we digress. <laughs> um, one little tip that I will say is, because I checked in using my phone, and it was, all went perfectly smoothly. I was able to upload all my photos because I knew exactly what I needed. I had all the photos there on my phone, ready to go. Once I got to the linking your credit card bit, I tried to link the credit card and I just got the spinning wheel of death. So I came out of it and I just opted for cash payments so that I could skip forward to get my port arrival time because that was the most important thing that I wanted to achieve, yeah. was the earliest port arrival time possible. Because once you've checked in and you've entered all the details for all of the guests, because yeah, you need the whole of your party's details, not just yours. It has to be everyone in your party's IDs and photos. Once you've done that, you can then select your port arrival time. And for these cruises, well, for the Liverpool ones, they are starting at 12.45. And they're in 15-minute slots. So 12.45 to 1 is the first slot, then 1 to 1.15. And I got boarding group 3, which is 12.45. So, yes. <laughs> I achieved my goal. Maximise the time. Maximise the time. We wanted to be there as soon as possible. So I managed to do that. I then could go back into like the online check-in process and add the debit card later. But I did it on my laptop because it seemed to work. A bit better. It, it worked better. Basically, trying to do it on the phone, it just was not working. But if once I went in on my laptop, I was able to add my credit card. No issues whatsoever. So that is done. We are all sorted. It does show us pending like your your details show as pending but i think that's because they have to go in and physically check that your passport matches up with the selfie that you've taken and that kind of thing so hopefully it won't take too long no, before it's all green also this morning at 30 days is the time that you can book things like your show times your free included your free stuff so your because of covid and the restrictions you have to pre-book your time to go into the theater for the show so they're only doing one show and it is the Disney, Dreams. Disney Dreams. I'm very excited. I can't wait to see this. Um, and that's like, they're showing it twice a night on each cruise. Um, that's the only show you're going to get unless you're on a four night cruise where I believe you will get one night of a variety show of some description. But apart from that, it's Disney Dreams. There's one early show and one late show in a day. And you can only book to see it once. once. As far as I know, it might be different on the longer cruises. I suppose it depends on how many people are booking and... Yeah, but for us on the two night, I was only able to book it to sit once, which is fine. <laughs> I don't want to see it both nights. We'll be slightly liberated for the Yeah, the day. second night, I don't think it'd be appropriate because <laughs> we will probably be quite tipsy. But yeah, um, so for us, because we are on second seat in dining, we booked the earlier show, obviously, uh, and they've staggered the times that you can go into the theatre. So it's either 5 o'clock, 5.15 or 5.30. I booked 5 o'clock just because... We want to get good seats. Mm -hmm. And I think the show's at six. So, yeah, that's another thing you can book. And also, what was the other thing? There the was something else. Oceaneers clubs and all your kids. Clubs oh, yeah, if you've got kids who want to go to Oceaneers Lab or Oceaneers Club, you can book that as well. This isn't when you book the family swimming pool. That is a virtual queue on the day. Yeah, there's been lots, and a lot of people are asking about like when can we book which restaurants we go to. You don't get a choice. <laughs> you, you can put in, you can put in a request, and you know we if have. you're not happy with what dining rotation you're on, you can go and speak to the dining managers when you get there, I believe. But you don't get a choice because I know a lot of people on the two nights are like we're only going to get to go to two. Well, duh. <laughs> but it is what it is. Like I, we've we've put in a request to make sure we go to Animators Palette. If we don't, it's not going to ruin the cruise for us, is it? No. But yeah, you, you that's don't... That's the one that we saw that, from Mickey. 
is normally See, there. there that, that's that's his. That he. I would. My first choice would be Rapunzel's, but we're going with him. He but booked it. Have a Rapunzel. No, it's Tatiana's, isn't it? Tatiana. Is it Who's Tatiana? Princess and the Frog. Tiana. Is it Rapunzel's or Tiana's. It's Rapunzel's on our ship. So we, Tiana's we, is the wonder. I don't know. I was going with that. I don't know what he's on about. You call yourself a Disney fan? No, I was thinking of the Rapunzel dinner show. And then the Rapunzel stage show, but there is no Rapunzel stage show. No, there's just there's Rapunzel's restaurant. It's Rapunzel's yeah. restaurant. It's not. Moving on, <laughs> before he embarrasses himself further. Um, yeah, you don't get a choice. You'll find out when you arrive. It'll be on your key to the world card what dining rotation you're on. But anyway, with the pools, that's where we were going. I got so sidetracked with you talking about Tatiana. <laughs> you started with the restaurants when I started mentioning the pools. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, with the pools. Uh, the adult pool, you don't need to do anything to book for. Obviously, it will be restricted numbers, but you can just turn up. With the family pool, there you don't need to do anything specifically. It's first come, first served. Once that is full, there will then be a virtual line that you can join on the Navigator app, and you'll get notified when it's your turn <laughs> to go into the pool. The slides as well, there's no virtual queue or anything for that it's just going to be a social distanced queue. queue so as well as all like the check-in malarkey they have recently released i'm not like hopefully people have figured this out by now but i don't know so in case you need to know um they have released how they want proof of vaccinations like i said everyone over the age of 18 needs to be vaccinated and everyone under the age of 18 needs to have a negative pcr test within five days i think it is yep. of sailing and the way that they are doing all of this is through a company called Project Screen. I will link the website down below. You need to go on there, create a profile and upload proof of your vaccination. So if you live in England and you have the NHS England app, you can just take a screenshot of your vaccination proof on there and upload that. We don't have that in Wales. The My Health Online app is not that advanced. So uh, what I've done is taken a photo of our vaccination cards and uploaded that so hopefully it's still showing as uh, being reviewed apparently it can take up to six days but uh, i've also heard that they're very quick to come back at you if there is an issue that they need resolving so yeah once that goes green then we are all good to go yeah. and you can also order pcr tests from there for the under 18s if you need to i think that's it i think that is i think that's it i think we're done so five days eight yeah. days we're nearly there. I'm so excited. Like I say, we do not take for granted for one minute how incredibly lucky we are to be able to do this cruise. I'm so grateful and I'm so excited. <laughs> I can cry. I'm that excited. You're excited? Yeah. Yeah. You are excited. You've done nothing but watch cruise vlogs all day, so he must I've be been excited. sleeping all day. I haven't been done with the night shift. That's why right. he's just tired because he's uh, just come off nights. He's got another night shift in an hour or so. <laughs> so yeah, but it's I honestly, I'm gonna cry to be able to get like Disney magic in this year is just unbelievable, and I cannot wait. Thirty days. It's come around so quick. Eighteenth of July from Liverpool for two nights on the Disney Magic. That is our plans. And we'll have the vlogs up quite soon after. Yes, there will be vlogs hopefully coming very, very soon. I've got the week off after the cruise so that I can get everything edited and put up. So if you are doing a staycation in the future, make sure if you're not ready that you subscribe to this channel and jiggle that bell because there will be vlogs coming very, very soon if you want to know what it's like. I'm, oh, oh, I'm so excited, I can't even talk, I'm so, so excited. But yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I will link the details for Project Screen down below if you need to go and sort that out, because uh, you must do it. And you can only do it 33 days before you cruise. So if you're not cruising until like the end of September, you can't do it yet, so don't panic. <laughs> it's only like 33 days before. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button down below. <laughs> if you're not already, please consider subscribing to my Diddy Diddy channel, especially if you are going on a staycation soon. If you are going on a staycation, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to jingle that bell so you always know when a new video goes live. And you can always follow us on social media. Twitter is at Tinker underscore Tales and Instagram is Tinker underscore Tales 2018. Yeah. 
but have a magical day guys and we'll see you really soon bye bye